Kulapati K. M. Munshi. In the galaxy of eminent men of India, Kanheya Lal Maneklan Munshi is a shining star that still beckons humanity to the path of duty and dharma by Divyansh Verma. As an educationist, Munshiji was born in Baruch in South Gujarat on 30th December 1887 and got his secondary education from Khan Bahadur Dalal High School. Kapiban, mother of Munshiji, was extremely religious and fed her son. One might say, got him with stories from the Ramayana, Mahabharata, the Puranas, and particularly legends of the Bhargavas and their great ancestor Parasurama. Later, the young Munshi read all that has ever been written about Parasurama and the Bhargavas, wrote a brilliant series of novels on the sage, and selected particularly the same subject for his Thakar Vasonji. Madhaviji Research Lectures in the Bombay University, collected and published under the title Early Aryans of the West Coast. The young Munshi's parents, Tapi Ben and Maniklal, transmitted to their son the best that they possessed, character, aspiration and faith in God. In 1897, invested with his sacred thread, Munshiji was anxious to be transformed into a Vedic sage and followed the prescribed instructions diligently at his sacred thread ceremony. Munshi completed his high school education in 1901. Munshi broke the tradition among the Bhargava boys that none of them could pass the matriculation examination at the first chance. When he passed the examination, Maneklal Munshi, his father was beside himself with joy. He embraced his son with tears of joy flowing down his cheeks. He himself had not been able to fulfill his desire of passing the matriculation. His dear son Kanu had done it. On passing the matriculation exam, Munshiji expresses his gratitude to his teacher Uttam Ram, who instilled in him self-confidence. Referring to him, Munshi writes, the teacher who can develop self-confidence in his students is the best teacher. Later, he had the privilege of having a stalwart like Aurobindo Ghosh for a teacher at Baroda College. In the Baroda College, Munshi came under the influence of two teachers, Jagjeevan Shah and Sri Aurobindo Ghosh. When Sri Aurobindo Ghosh began to practice yoga, giving up his European ways of life, Munshiji developed a high regard for him. The textbooks didn't satisfy his passion for reading, so he sought solace in English poetry. His favorite authors at this time were Burke and Wills, Tennyson and Shelley, Byron. In 1904, Munshiji started his career in social service by organizing, along with some friends, a free library in his native town, Broad, where they would be free to subscribe to Sri Aurobindo's newspaper and the One Day Martha. 1905 passed first LLB with first class, winning a prize. 1906 passed BA, winning a Light Memorial Prize. 1910 enrolled as pleader on the appellate side of Bombay High Court. 1911 became Secretary of Gujarat Sabha. After completing his law degree from Bombay University, he enrolled himself as advocate in the year 1913. As his fame spread, he started getting cases from all over India. In 1992, Munshiji founded Gujarati Sahitya Sansad and Gujarat, an illustrated monthly and became his joint editor. Munshi has been a working journalist or as the chairman of the reception committee of the Federation of Working Journalists, hail him at Lucknow, a hard-working journalist. Kulapati's Letters Kulapati Munshi wrote a series of letters which impart knowledge, wisdom and universal spirit in the hearts of the men. These letters constitute the main attraction of the Bhavan's journal which reaches over the thousands of subscribers besides being published in a number of newspapers and magazines throughout the country. Indeed, the moral education that the readers learn from these letters are precious than any material asset. 1926 elected vice president of Gujarat Sahitya Parishad 1927 elected chairman of the Gujarat Board of Studies of the Bombay University elected to the Bombay Legislative Council 1928 assisted in piloting the Bombay University bill appointed chairman of the physical culture committee and the member of the secondary education committee by the Bombay government 
1929, elected member of the Academic Council of Board of Postgraduate Studies of Bombay University, appointed trustee of the Baj Kabibai Trust. He joined the Swaraj Party but returned to the Indian National Congress with the launch of the Salt Satyagraha in 1930. 1929 appointed chairman of the Bardoli Committee of Inquiry re-elected to the Bombay Legislative Council 1930 nominated substitute member of the Working Committee of the Congress founded the Bombay City Ambulance Corps and was elected its president 1935 elected vice chairman of the Fellowship School Society 1936 started the Hans Limited which took over the Hindi magazine Hans and became its joint editor with Hindi writer Premchand 1937 elected president of the Gujarat Sahitya Parishad 1946 Munshi ji was appointed to the experts committee for drafting the constitution of India and elected to the constituent assembly Considerable devotion to the concept of a strong and unified motherland must definitely have weighed the government when it appointed him as the agent general of the government of India in Hyderabad. The One Mahotsav was initiated by Mr. K M Munshi in 1950. His aim was to increase the area under the forest cover by planting more trees. Munshi ji's services as Union Minister for Food and Agriculture between 1950 and 1952 saw him in yet another nation-building role. The governorship of Uttar Pradesh, which Munshi ji held from 1952 to 1957, saw him establish the healthiest of conventions. Versatile, a philosopher in action, man of great ideas and great courage, multifaceted genius. These are the ways in which friends and admirers describe Dr. Kanhaiya Lal Maniklal Munshi, the founder of the Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan. Munshi was an active participant in the Indian independence movement ever since the advent of Mahatma Gandhi. Early in life, he became interested in education. He found in it the creative art of life. As chairman of a government-appointed committee, he framed a scheme for physical education, organized, established or conducted educational institutions of several kinds ranging from a home for delinquent children to the Institute of Agriculture at Anand, including colleges, hostels, schools. As food minister, organized the Indian Council of Agriculture Research as chancellor of the UP universities, reorganized and stabilized some of them. The basic object was the propagation of Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan in essence is dharma in its triple aspects of satyam shivam sundaram The Bharatiya Vidya Bhavans which Munshi ji has built up step by step is a living embodiment of his mission it's something more than a mere educational and cultural institution with an international reputation It's a movement embodying the mission and the message of Indian culture and Bharatiya Shiksha. Verily, can Munshi ji, as the Kulpati of the Bhavan, lay the flattering unction to his soul that his dreams of Indian culture have taken some concrete shape through the activities of his institution. Munshi's fondness for music, drama, and dance expressed itself into giving them a place not only in his own life but in the life of others. Munshi has composed dance, dramas, and plays, directed their performances, written scenarios, and sometimes gone to the studio for helping the editing of the films. His varied tastes and versatile interests embrace almost the whole of life and culture. He has lived. and lives a life of ceaseless work enriched by the beauty and the joy of the moment Munshi ji has written 56 books in Gujarati and 94 in English many of his books have been translated into Marathi Hindi and other languages Salutations to the spirit of Munshi ji that is ever inspiring the posterity